Merry Christmas, everyone. I want to extend my warmest greetings uh, personally as lead pastor here with KZMC and also on behalf of our church family as a whole. It's, it's our prayer that you would be experiencing God. It's our prayer that you would know comfort and hope and truth. In the midst of this unusual year, we do have a lot to celebrate and rejoice in. So I invite you just to take a moment here as we reflect on the coming of Jesus, the coming of God in human form, this remarkable mystery. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a peculiar story. It's, uh, in a lot of ways, it's, uh, some ways it doesn't make any sense at all, and yet it makes perfect sense that God would decide to be just like us, to experience what we experience, to, to embrace the joys, the sorrows, the, the, the celebratory stuff, the painful stuff, to be with us, and then ultimately to go to the cross, to lay down his life on our behalf, to rise from the dead, to conquer death and evil, so that we could be free, so that we could enter into this kingdom that he's bringing one day. So I invite you just to join with me in reflecting. Advent hope moves us. Advent love leads us. Advent joy stirs us. Advent peace stills us. That we might affirm our King Jesus. It is time that we set to flame this Advent affirmation by lighting the Christ candle. We believe that Jesus is the Son of God. We believe that He was born of the Virgin Mary in Bethlehem of Judea. He was the long-awaited Messiah whose coming was prophesied. The same Jesus lives today in our hearts. And He deserves our loyalty. He deserves our total commitment. In Jesus Christ, our hope is fulfilled. Our love is consummated. Our joy is complete. And our peace is sealed. And so we rejoice for a Savior has been born. A Savior has been born. Joy to the world. It's because of this truth that I can proceed into the unknown of 2021 with hope. Not going to lie, I'm not looking forward to this next month of being under lockdown. I'm disappointed about it. Uh, But you know what? It's going to be okay. God's at work, and I really, really believe that God does His most significant work in us in times of trial. So I invite you to embrace that. I invite you to embrace His presence in our lives, His love, which we see in the birth story. A God who cares about you tremendously. Will you open your heart to Him? So, have a Merry Christmas. I wish you the fullness of God's blessing. May may you have the fullness of peace, the fullness of purpose, the fullness of joy, all, all the good stuff of life with God. May that be your experience in 2021. May you have a happy new year. I'll let you get back to your your festivities, your family, your rest, whatever today looks like for you. Thanks for taking a moment here. Merry Christmas on behalf of myself and Kingsfield Zurich Mennonite Church.